More news. As the back to school dust begins to settle, classrooms are filling up fast in the bigger city schools all across the region. New this morning, some of Minot Public Schools are bursting at the seams. Becky Farr is live now with a look at how one school is accommodating that overwhelming number of students. Hi, Becky. Yes, good morning, Tim and Alicia. Both Minot Public Middle Schools are at or well over capacity. Now, this isn't the first year that Jim Hill Middle School has used portable classrooms, but this year they are taking additional measures to do what they can to make more room in there. It's, it's crowded. Jim Hill Middle School is over capacity by more than 70 students. To look at it another way, there are usually about 250 in seventh grade. This year, there are 295, and that's after Ramstead Middle School took on 35 of what would have been Jim Hill students. All right, you remembered your prefixes. Pete Stenberg is a seventh grade life science teacher. His biggest class is 28 students, which he says interferes with space, noise, and his ability to give individual attention. It progressively gets to be harder and harder to get to everybody. Uh, when when you are doing lab situations or or assignments and so forth or some introducing something new in a perfect world Stenberg says a class of about 20 would be best but some teachers have classes as big as 30 some students may take desks out to the hall for more space teachers are sharing classrooms and 10 of those classrooms are portables Lunchrooms and hallways are crowded, so much so that students and staff hear the bells ring double what they normally would. The staggered bells helps to free up the congestion. So what Jim Hill Middle School is doing works for now, but the growth seems to be steady. The 2020 graduating class will have about 450 students walk the stage next spring. But the kindergarten class, graduating in 2032, currently has more than 700 students in it. As we move this forward, um, we just need to be creative, I think, in the way that we meet the needs of this growing population. So right now there are 7,730 students enrolled in Minot Public Schools and Tim and Alicia here at Jim Hill. It's getting to the point that not every student will have a locker. There's 800 lockers inside here and 794 students. So that could be an additional measure for next year is getting a couple extra banks of lockers. Wow. Oh yeah, I, I went to Jim Hill and boy, <laughs> looking at that video, it is much more crowded than I remember. Booming yeah. population. Just talk about the census <laughs> that we talked about coming out soon. You know, it'll be interesting to see our population in general. That's right. Thank you, Becky, for that update.